Well, it's been a, a busy day indeed for the National Assembly members and there you have it after a long session starting from 9.30 a.m. Finally, the vote is out from the National Assembly as members of the National Assembly approve a motion to impeach Deputy President Rigadi Gashagwa by 281 members of Parliament of the National Assembly voting in favour of the Mwengi Mutu's motion while 44 members voting against the impeachment motion while one member of parliament abstained. This is outside the entrance of parliament where there is a lot happening in terms of members of parliament now getting out of the chamber, going uh, now to their respective, or retreating to their offices and maybe to their respective places. But of course, we have members of parliament just to get to hear what they have to say. Um, uh, tell us uh, from uh, Bomet, uh, Bomet uh, East, uh, member of parliament, tell us, how was the mood like in the House, we've seen a very unprecedented, uh, you know, decision being taken by the National Assembly members. What was the mood like in the House? Uh, what I can tell you in the mood of the House was that it was uh, the, the, the members of Parliament was very ready for it. You must have seen the overwhelming voting uh, to us, the uh, Deputy President uh, from the office. And uh, this is something which even the people, uh, when we went to do the public participation, they showed us, you must do this. My constituency uh, showed me 92% had told me you must impeach the, uh, the deputy president. And um, even the members in the House, all of them, they had ganged up and they had said, this is not about anything. People might talk about money. We were not paid anything, even a single thing. We wanted to make sure that everything runs smoothly and um, we tell the people that we want to work for them. We don't want the issues of uh, making politics during the time we are supposed to be delivering to the people. Thank you. Thank, Thank you very much. Let's get from a member of parliament for Kajiado North. You are one of the, uh, one of the tellers or the clerks for the side of the deputy president. Your side uh, in the, on the floor of parliament have only been able to raise 44 votes in favor of the deputy president. How does that feel and are you ready to, you know, push this uh, fight again to the Senate? I'm a proud member of parliament today, having voted no. Proud of the 44 that voted without coercion, using their conscience and submitted evidence by Mwengi Mutuse. We march forward to the Senate where we believe that there is an opportunity for reasoning to be there. The 281 members of parliament voted with coercion. They did not use the evidence that was provided by Mwengi Mutuse. And Mwengi Mutuse has just provided allegations without substantiation. It's a dark day for Kenya, but I believe marching forward, there is an opportunity for justice to happen to the deputy president. And as member of parliament for Kajado North, I am proud that I have done a decision that my people uh, have advised me that this is the route to go. And looking at the evidence provided, there was nothing substantial. It was pure hot air, like Justice Kome would say. Well, uh, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, Yvonne, uh, members of parliament continue to uh, just come out. But one member of parliament, Kirinyaga, uh, member, member, member of parliament, Kirinyaga County, you had pre presented a lot of, uh, you know, objections into the public participation. How does this uh, get you feel today that uh, finally the vote is out, but you have a fighting chance in the Senate, especially for the deputy? The president. It is very unfortunate to see how the process has been carried out by Parliament because we know the 2010 Constitution gave us a framework to ensure that the Deputy President it does not work at the whims of the President. It is quite unfortunate to see how Parliament has carried out the purported public participation with no consideration for sufficient notice to the Kenyan people. Barely four months after the same that in Parliament passed a very unpopular finance bill, they have told the Kenyan populace that they do not care about their interests, they do not care about health care, they do not care about a Danny deal, they do not care about employment opportunities for young people. But when it comes to political processes, when it comes to mobilizing for political shambolic practices being carried out like what we've seen today, that they will come out in large numbers. So basically the, that in parliament has said once again it is as tone deaf as it was when they voted for the finance bill. Thank you. Thank you so much. 
Uh, let's get, uh, get from another member of parliament. Tell us, what do you feel about the vote that has just been concluded in the National Assembly? Uh, thank you so much. This is Wamau, a member of parliament in Maragua constituency. I was here to defend Lega de Gashagua, who is our topmost leader in Mount Kenya region. But I want to say whatever has happened, even the, the vote that was taken was totally political. The numbers that were in parliament were overwhelming. Never have we ever seen such kind of turn up, apart from where, when we are being sewn in. And therefore this was clear indication that there was political mobilization just to come and castigate. And you can see light from morning. Regathe Gashagwa was being condemned even before he is heard. And the same process was hardly done during the public participation. But I want to say we watched the impeachment for the fake fertilizer, how it was carried out. You remember at long last the head of the government came in just because there were interested people in government who were in the scandal of the fake fertilizer. And you can see all what uh, mean something to our people, like the Adani deal, like the health uh, issues that there are, the education, and all this, including the cost of living. No one who is concerned and no one who is addressing that. But because this one was politically castigated, that is why you have seen the turn up and how the vote was done. Thank you for your for your views. Mwishimiwa um, from uh, Kipipiri. Je, leo tumeona kwamba je, ni sakafu imeteleza ama kuna yule aliyefanya sakafu ikateleza? Ne, nataka kusema this was purely a political process. The decision was already made politically na ninataka kusema zile facts ziliwekwa pale tuliona Mwishimiwa Rigathi Gashagwa akiweza kuzitupa moja kwa moja hazikuweza kusimama, hazikuwa na nguvu na kwa hivyo tunasema mlima hujatereza, mlima uko imara kwa wale wabunge 44 ambao wameza kusimama na wajiko we saw recently in the public participation the public was against this impeachment tunasema this is step one and going to step two tuko na imani na our senate house and even we have step three which is the judiciary and they have served justice in this country kwa hivyo tunataka kusema this step one we have lost but we live to fight another day but overall this was purely a political process Rigathi was able to express himself smartly and every Kenyan could see that really the grounds were free say, and even very serious allegations that were brought on board there were issues of women which were not part of the ground just to hype emotions of members and you could also see that members who are against the motion were also not given fair share of, of deliberation we were not able to articulate our issues you saw even me I was not able to speak I could speak through the, the studying orders the point of orders this is not the, 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 the right way if indeed the house was sure that we were also to get the chance. Thank you. And so what would be your message to the deputy, deputy president tonight? I would tell him Paul and he should not lose hope. He should come down and wait for step two of Senate. And there is even step three, which is the, the judiciary. And to the Wananchi Wanjiko, we say calm down, continue praying for the deputy president. Your voice was loud and clear in the public participation that impeachment is not the priority of Wanjiko in Kenya. We have issues with the education, we have issues in health, we have issues with our roads, and this is not a priority. Thank you, Member of Parliament for KPPR, Wanjiko Moya. Well, here comes now Member of Parliament for Baringo South. Uh, tell us, how was the mood and what do you take of today's vote? Uh, today's vote eh, was a very clear indication of what was going on over the debate that we had. And uh, the report that we got from the public participation that was very clear because it was over 66 uh, percent that Kenyans were saying the impeachment should go on. And parliament being an independent entity, would they have spoken and uh, they have given their views and we have done our work very clear. There was enough time for debate and everybody was given enough time to react on this and it was very clear. But you know, sometimes when you don't win, you can say anything and you can, you, you can accuse anybody. But it was very clear, parliament has given their direction and majority of uh, the members have voted for impeachment, which is very clear. So we have done our work as the National Assembly. The remaining part is to the Senate, which now the Senate will make a decision. I, we know, we, we know that uh, there are so many things, but what we want to do and what we want to say is to wish uh, the, 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 the deputy president, the former deputy president now, happy life and uh, success in his uh, new life 
It is normal. It's normal. It's very normal. Kenyans have spoken. Parliament has spoken. And that is how it is. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Member of Parliament for Baringo South. Uh, remember the, the voting today, um, we've seen a lot of uh, concern about why was it not that uh, uh, all the 11 counts were being voted for one after the other. But remember, members of the National Assembly were only voting for the motion to impeach uh, Deputy President Rigadi Gashagwa as, as tabled by Kibwezi West Member of Parliament Mwengi Mutuse. And uh, when this matter now proceeds uh, to the Senate and after all the deliberations that will be taking place in the Senate, that is when the senators, all the 67 senators, will be voting uh, uh, charge after the other just to ensure that all the counts have been uh, voted upon. Members of Parliament uh, continue uh, to, uh, to, 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 to just to come out, but very quickly, uh, uh, Gidunguri, Member of Parliament, uh, Gadonua Mushomba, you've been very vocal today in the National Assembly, trying to raise point of order after point of order after point of order. Oh, what is yeah. that about? And a lot of concerns coming out about, you know, limited time from uh, for uh, all members of Parliament to, to contribute. Um, today I'm a very frustrated Member of Parliament, basically because um, um, I tried doing my best in terms of uh, asking for interventions to clarify some, you know, some facts. I raised a matter of why we allow the public participation papers to carry allegations that Gashago was not given an opportunity first to deny or accept before we printed the papers that were being used to spread rumors and uh, gossips and allegations in the public participation forums. And that uh, the speaker ignored. But I still feel we were unfair. This is mob justice to Gashagua because we printed papers and we, we alleged that he's a thief. We alleged that he has um, irregularly used uh, Kenyan money and so many other allegations. But we didn't, first of all, clear from him before we went to a 90. Does so Nikama uh, Turi Muharibia Jina. In fact, Gashagua is defamed, completely defamed, because this was not even, uh, you know, cleared by parliament. Number two, parliament ilikuwa inacheza videos. Videos za Gashagua akiwa mashinani. Nani ali clear those videos? Because according to Data Protection Act, we are supposed to clear the videos before they are aired for any quasi-judicial process. This was a quasi-judicial process. Why didn't we clear Gashagua? I mean, clear the videos that were being used. Number three, um, I feel like Kenyans have been taken for granted. Why did we waste a lot of money and time to call people for public participation? I thought the speaker would announce how many people voted no or yes during public participation in Gedongori, in Kiamba, in, 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 in Kabete. That was not used. So why were we wasting time and money? In fact, I'm telling Kenyans, Kenyans, how waheshimiwa, how wamulichagua, ni kama wamewabeba kwa urahisi sana. Yani wanawatumia kutumia pesa ya public participation wanawafanyisha kazi nyingi ya public participation lakini hayo makaratasi haitumiwi hata kufanya eh, majab, majibizano ama kufanya mujadala katika bunge la taifa so today was a waste of time it was a political process to me, to me, to me and i said it in parliament it looked like we are mob justing gashagwa we even during when he was he came to speak to us people were making noise and the speaker was comfortable with that he never even called out the members to keep quiet he just ignored people were making noise. They were not listening to him. They were moving up and down. And the speakers looked like he was not interested anyway. So this parliament has let us down. I feel very embarrassed to be a member of parliament in Kenya. If this is how we do some of these serious proceedings and some of these processes, I feel very disappointed. But I want to tell Kenyans something. Kenyans, please listen to what Gashagwa has said. Gashagwa has said he's being hunted out of office for speaking against demolitions, for speaking about extrajudicial killings, for speaking about uh, 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 mishandling of riots, for speaking about Andani, for speaking about many other eos of this government. Gashagwa should be celebrated by Kenyans because what he has said as a top senior most government official is something that Kenya should think and look at and consider revis revisitation because Gashagwa has said it and that is what we are waiting for. So we celebrate Gashagwa. He may go down politically 
badly. But in the eyes of Kenyans, he has done Kenyans justice. Gashagua will forever be remembered in this country. Thank you, member for Gidungu. Member for Tetu, uh, Geoffrey Wandeto. Uh, what will be your message tonight to the deputy president? And he has also voted. I no proudly today. voted uh, no <laughs> because I feel uh, that the motion that was uh, before the House was uh, just uh, basically mob uh, lynching. It was mob justice. When you look at the grounds, when you look at the explanations that the deputy president gave, uh, you can actually see that uh, you know this was uh, actually just something uh, predetermined, and it was just something calculated to hold uh, the deputy president out of office. And if you look at the current issues that we have in this country, the scandals that are going on, the challenges that we are having in the economy, what I wonder is how this is a priority. And the deputy president actually rightly said on, on Sunday that if he feels he has wronged somebody, you know, these are all things that can be discussed and forgiven. The religious leaders had offered to mediate, but nobody could hear any of this. So the die had been cast, uh, it was a, 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 a kangaroo court, everything was, uh, uh, you know, basically, you know, uh, predetermined. And, uh, you know, despite uh, what the Wanainchi said, despite what uh, uh, people said in public participation, despite all the speeches that were given today, you could actually see everything was, uh, you know, it's very, very unfortunate what we see today. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. You, 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 we can also, we can of course, of course, uh, uh, tell us, we saw you uh, try to have an altercation with uh, the member of parliament for uh, for uh, for uh, Gatundu, Gatundu, uh, Gatundu South, but generally, what was the mood of the house as the conclusion of the uh, of the voting today? Well, I think, uh, as, as you have clearly seen, the uh, majority of the members have supported the motion, whereas uh, um, just 44 members have have uh, voted against the motion. Uh, myself, voting against the motion, as the people of Mukurweni had uh, strictly instructed me. I did a public participation, 2,700 people, uh, all of them, they said that I do not support that motion, and for that reason, we ensured that we did not support the motion, because we had to listen to them. And uh, mine, again, is to say that I hope and pray that uh, as we move forward uh, as a country, as a political party, we can be able to come up with a mechanism in which, uh, as a country, we can be able to sort out and to solve uh, disputes against um, uh, the situation that we have today, that uh, one uh, misunderstanding between two different individuals or members who are elected and uh, a senior member who is a deputy president has resulted in this kind of an action, uh, the removal. I, I hope that we are able to follow our constitution, uh, Article 159, on the issue of uh, alternative dispute resolution mechanisms, where we can be able to have a, a, a sitting, mediation, reconciliation, so that then we don't have to get to this level again as a country. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that uh, there will still be some kind of remedy as we move on, even before we get to the Senate. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Uh, let's see if we can get uh, just, uh, mo just, uh, just more... Uh, uh, just, just more uh, uh, deliberations from a uh, member of parliament for Butere. We've seen it's been a busy, a busy, really a busy day for members of parliament and an unprecedented uh, day actually in parliament. How does, how has this painted parliament today? Uh, I believe it has painted parliament as an institution which can uphold the constitution. As you know, we had never tested this uh, article of the constitution, but we have been able to debate and to, to deliberate and to find a way in which we can uphold the all the attributes and the spirit of the constitution. And I believe what my colleagues and myself did is the best. And I believe that Kenyans will be more Kenyans will be more more pleased and uh, have more trust in uh, members of parliament. Yeah. Thank you, thank you so much, uh, member of parliament for Butera. I know it's been a busy it's been a busy uh, day for you. Uh, but uh, let, let let me see if I can get more, uh, more members of parliament. Just uh, Jamatia, the member member of parliament and a women representative from yes. uh, for Beringo, uh, Karibu, and uh, tell us how how do you feel as a parliamentarian? Uh, uh, particularly uh, on the day that has seen the National Assembly vote overwhelmingly to remove from office the Deputy President? Um, I want to say, uh, um, as a member of parliament, I am very happy because I did my duty to make sure that Kenya is a preserve for everyone. The character of the Deputy President presented itself so well before the floor of the House that is a man who has chosen not to be a leader, a national leader for that matter. He chose to be a tribal. He chose to only speak for uh, his people from Mount Kenya. But not only that we are rescuing uh, him 
from his own character. We are also rescuing the community that is purports to represent while he's using his own, um, uh, I mean, powers to mo many times to endear himself and to make himself rich through corruption, specifically using his family. And it was very unfortunate because his, his family members were mentioned in this, which again is going to be more implicating going forward. But at the end of the day, we want to say this is a very noble um, uh, work that we did today. We want to tell Kenyans that Kenya is going to be one, and going forward, we are going to save this country. And we need to be patriotic, like all of us. Member of Parliament for Lamu East, Karibu Sana. Tueleze tu, tueleze tu, ye imekua sikundefu sana. Ye kama mwakilisho ene umunge la Lamu Mashariki. Ye wauna jele? Aminaona imekua vizuri. Kwa sababu, mimi kama mbunge, nilikuwa naona ametutenga. Sijawai kutoka Deputy President achaguliwe, sijawai enda kwa ofisi yaki. Na hata nikimona wanaka kando na ye. Kwa sababu ele matamshi yake menifanya paka sezi msongelea. Kwa sababu vile sisi ni kidogo, kila kizungumza ni walio wengi, ni kabila yake. So, ikawa haikai vizuri. Na mimi kwangu, hata kule kiunga, ni kona wakikuyu, ni kona wameru, ni kona kabila zingine. Na mimi siwafanyi hivyo. Kama ni chochote kina chokwenda, bora unemu ni mkazi wakule, tunawafanyi ya haki. Sasa alikuwa hayendeshi vizuri. Na in fact, inawachochea kabila zingine against hile kabila. Kwa sababu mtu anaona hawa ndio special, hawa ndio anapenda, especially kwa lamu. Lamu kuna matatizo kwetu. Sasa hile ukikila ukigusa isu za insecurity, kama ukigusa NIS, hapo alifanya makuwa. Manake unapatia nguvu ulele wale madui. Afadhali ange mchapa yu ule nurdini as a person. Lakini ya singepigia ile. Sasa kwa sababu ya insecurity kwetu wakifanya hivyo anatuumiza. Kwa sababu kule pia mimi na mpeketoni na na watu wengine pia inatutuchea. So hakufanya jambo la mana. Lakini takuwa funzo kwa mwingine anaingia yoyote. Ajue kwa mba Kenya ni moja. Si sote wa moja. Thank you. Sasa tumpate. Let's have just quickly member of parliament from Baringo North. Tell us. How, 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 does, how does it feel that the National Assembly has impeached the Deputy President? Uh, if you look at that impeachment, a record of 281 members against the 44. That is a very serious decision across Kenya. The impeachment of Kachakwa is a lesson for many other leaders that will come after Kajakwa. That when you are given a position of responsibility, respect all Kenyans. Mimi mwenyewe kama mbunge ya baringo noto, wakati nikuwa na chita ya insecurity. Kachakwa nilienda kuraisi ruta alikuwa inje. Nikaenda kwa ofisi yaka hapa. Kacharibu kwa elesa, tuongee chue ya manene ya uko. Yei ya kaniwacha, nikakaa three hours, akapata wensake ya Mount Kenya peke yake. Na hii impeachment siyo ya wakikuyu. We are not impeaching the people of Mount Kenya. We are impeaching... We only impeach one person whose responsibility has absconded and actually in his own actions violated all other manner of uh, sections of the constitution. So the people of Mount Kenya, we appreciate them for voting for William Ruto. This impeachment is not an impeachment of a community. It is an impeachment of an individual that was given a responsibility in Kenya. Yes. Thank you very much. Um, um, Yvonne, indeed, we can't have all the 340, uh, uh, four, five plus members of parliament give uh, their, uh, you know, their sentiments on what they feel about the impeachment of the deputy president regarding Gashagwa right in the National Assembly. But remember, according to the standing orders, the National Assembly Speaker Moses Wetangla in this case has two days to communicate the decision to the Senate, uh, to his Senate counterpart, Amazon Jaffa Kingi, which means if the impeachment motion has been passed today, then latest Thursday, the Senate must be dispensed, uh, must have, a, must be, uh, you know, have a formal communication from the National Assembly regarding the impeachment of the Deputy President, and thereafter they will be having seven days to dispense with the impeachment motion that has been presented to them that a sitting will be sitting as a quasi judicial sitting and of course we are in, uh, trying to find if we can uh, you know have a talk or if we can get a speaker of the national assembly Moses Wetangula to give us more 
on what follows from this point. But of course, we continue to gather what is happening right here in the National Assembly uh, main gate, and we will be bringing more to you as and when we gather more. But security still remains intact as was since morning inside and outside Parliament. Yvonne. Stephen Latour from the precincts of the National Assembly.